I never thought I would be able to do one of these videos because I never thought that Love Shack Fancy would have come out with a fragrance, let alone three. I'm actually shook. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. If you're new here, I do videos on all things girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. Today I'm doing a video that I have been wanting to do for so long, but I never thought I would be able to do one of these videos because I never thought that Love Shack Fancy would have come out with a fragrance, let alone three. So today we're going to be reviewing the three Love Shack Fancy perfumes in this video. I have not smelled them yet, so this is going to be a first impressions and a review video. So let's talk about pricing. I decided to get the little three sample set from Sephora, and this was $15, and each little perfume is 0 0.05 fluid ounce, which is pretty small for $15, and you get three of them. But I just decided to buy this to test them out to see which one I want to invest in because the bottles are pretty pricey. It's $125 for the big bottle and $32 for the little travel size roller ball. What really surprised me about the bigger bottle size is that it's 2.5 ounces and usually a bigger perfume bottle is 3.5 ounces so it is a little bit smaller than what you would typically get for that price. I am a little bit nervous to try these because I'm rooting for Moondance to be my favorite but I think Forever in Love is going to be my favorite just because everyone else says it's their favorite so I mean I'm hoping that they all smell amazing but not so amazing that I want to buy all of them. I really want to invest in just one of them for my birthday so we'll see which one I get. So we're going to be trying Forever in Love first and the notes are green pear, gardenia, and cedarwood. And this is probably the most highly anticipated fragrance because it is their most popular one from what I've seen. I love the way Love Shack Fancy introduces their fragrances. So Forever in Love, this is the description of it. This swoon-worthy fruity floral fragrance with green pear and gardenia is like that first flutter, opening the heart and setting you to a new path. Every petal of the gardenia flower is in full bloom, brightening by green pear and Italian mandarin, surrounded by jasmine, rose petals, and cedar wood. All right, so let's try it out. Wow, I did not expect that. That smells so good. Oh my goodness. I'm getting notes of like floral but also very sweet smelling like i did not expect the sweet side of this fragrance wow this is like a good everyday perfume and it is so feminine and fun i love it i can definitely see why this one is everyone's favorite i am in love with this this smells so good and this would be so good as a candle i hope they make candles because this is just amazing wow this perfume is so versatile. You can literally use it from day to night. And wow, I'm actually blown away. I have never smelled anything like this, but at the same time, it feels so familiar to me. It smells, it smells so good. This, this I can see why is a Love Shack Fancy favorite. All right, so the next one we're gonna try is Moon Dance. So introducing Moondance, this richly warm floral fragrance exudes elegance with an edge, like a night filled with sophistication and an air of mystery. It opens with a masses of velvet rose sensifolia coupled with pink rhubarb. Earthy oak moss and dreamy sandalwood extend the overflowing bouquet all night long. The key notes in Moondance are velvet rose, magnolia, and dreamy sandalwood. Honestly, I don't know how to go about spraying myself, because I smell forever in love so hard right now. It's kind of hard to spray. <laughs> like it takes a minute. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Wait. Wait. This smells so familiar. I'm actually shook. Like, this smells like a date night, but I just don't know how to describe it. Like, it's, this one is like so unique to me. Is it possible to love a perfume 
this much because I honestly I'm like in between forever in love and this one but this one just smells so unique but also familiar at the same time this one also I feel like could be very versatile as well but it's definitely leaning more towards like sexy date night type of vibes oh my god it's just this one is so good i'm obsessed it's crazy because these two fragrances forever in love and moon dance are completely different but you can tell that they are from love shack fancy and i'm just thoroughly impressed i'm actually blown away by this one like i can't stop smelling it it just transports me to a whole other worlds. Honestly, the Love Shack Pansy description is so on point. The way that they say that it's filled with elegance, with an edge, I 100% agree. And how they also say it's a night filled with sophistication and an air of mystery. Like this fragrance is so unique and I feel like if I smelt this on someone else, I would definitely stop them and ask them what they are wearing. Like this one has met my expectation, if not exceeded it. Like it smells so good. So we still have one more left to smell and then I will decide which one I like best. So we have the Bohem and this one says that it's naturally cool with an undeniable charm. I love that it's blue. It's definitely giving Coastal Granddaughter vibes, which you guys know I love for like the summertime vibes. So I am expecting this to be like a summertime fragrance. So let's read the description. Introducing Bohem. This classic and clean skin living floral is a charming and innately cool bouquet with a abundant abundance of peonies and a blush of black currant. Spherical blooms are joined by touches of white flowers including tuberose, rose, and jasmine. Soft white amber and sandalwood offer a smooth and soft finish. So the notes on this are black currant, peony, and white amber. So let's smell this. Wait. I'm like so blown away by these perfumes. Like they smell so good. Wow, this one is definitely giving classic old money vibes, I would say. I would honestly say that this would be a perfect summertime fragrance. Honestly, it's crisp, it's clean, it's fresh, it's floral. It's perfect for every day. I can see, you know, the older generation grabbing this one versus like the other two. And not to say that like in a mean way, it definitely reminds me of like Chanel number no. five, where it's like that classy, elegant type of smell. This this one also smells to me like baby powder and I don't mean that in a weird way I mean that in like a clean type of smell way like you just got out of the shower just got out of the bath type of smell honestly this one I'm gonna put at number three on my list and then I would say moon dance is number one and then forever in love is number two so that is my rating of all of the love Shack fancy fragrances I love every single one of them and I hope to collect all of them eventually and I'm definitely gonna to be asking for either moon dance or forever in love for my birthday i definitely need to choose between the two and see which one is going to be my birthday scent but yeah let me know in the comments down below if you picked up any of the love shack fancy fragrances or if you smelled them which one is your favorite definitely subscribe i would love to have you a part of my girly family i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video